A magical paradise hidden among the sand dunes in northeastern Brazil. Unique, breathtaking nature, total relaxation, and plenty going on at night. This is why Jericoacoara will be your favorite destination. If you've seen my videos, you know I've been pretty much everywhere in Brazil. And most places in Brazil, you need to compromise. In Rio, you get incredible beauty, an awesome vibe, and a lot of fun at the cost of safety. Other places that are beautiful and safe might not be as fun. But there is a place where you don't have to compromise. Jerry. Welcome everyone to Jerry Quaquara in the Northeast, also known as the Paradise of Brazil. Why this name? <laughs> Well, pretty soon, you will know. This is 20 minutes of video you wish you'd seen before. Here we have it, most of it actually, cause Jericoacoara town is not a big place and not super easy getting to. It hides 5-6 hours outside of Fortaleza in northeastern Brazil. Only way to reach it is to cross a wide stretch of delicious deserts. <laughs> and what a ride it is! In fact, large parts of town is pretty much desert as well. Let's just say you can leave your fancy shoes at home. This is a flip-flop town. Not even cars can drive here. That right there is the first reason you will love Jerry. You simply won't find a place like this anywhere else. Jerry. No matter which street you're walking, you'll eventually end here. The beach. A place you go to relax a couple of hours and get stuck the whole day. The vibe and uh, you know beauty of this place actually don't really make it to the video. It's so much better than it looks. Why I like Jetty Beach so much? Well, it could be the endless sand dunes framing it. Or that it's always the perfect temperature in the water and shallow enough to just lounge around with a caipirinha in hand. <laughs> I simply love this beach. People don't swim here, they simply enjoy. What are we talking here? 30, 31 degrees warm? <laughs> If you're still not relaxed after floating in this turquoise water for half an hour, well, then you need some serious changes in your life. This is pure therapy. <laughs> uh. Another thing that makes Jerry a little extra pleasant. In Jerry, you can just leave your stuff, go down in the water, and it's perfectly safe, because there are simply no thieves here. You can focus on what's really important. Opa. This is what life looks like when you have zero problems. If most people weren't a little tipsy, this would have been a great place to learn how to swim, which a lot of Brazilians can't. But drinking is more fun. Saddest part of the day, <laughs> when you're out of kite and you gotta go back to work. Dining options in Jerry are great, even at the beach. Why go to a restaurant when you can get it all served at the beach? But I'll be honest, this is nothing compared to what's about to come. Opa! Por que você gosta de Jerry? Porque Jerry é incrível, a energia desse lugar é maravilhosa. A forma de viver que é simples e pela simpatia que é contagiante das pessoas. Is Jerry the best place in Brazil? <laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself. But Jerry is so much more than hanging on the beach. I've already made a video of all the amazing stuff you can do, so let's just settle with saying you won't have a boring moment here unless you choose to. And don't be surprised if your Instagram explodes in Jerry. It is not hard taking good photos. And let's not forget the perhaps greatest joy of all, discovering all the gems hiding amongst the vast sand dunes.
but above all else, one place in Jerí demands a visit, Lagoa Paraíso. The ride there is almost as awesome as the destination. Alright, now in the middle of nowhere, on the way to the most popular place in Jerí. I know, it could have been this place, but no. Qual é a maior coisa do Jerí? As dunas, cara. Lagoa, paraíso. Muita festa, muita festa. As gringas. As gringas? <laughs> Lagoa do Paraíso is found pretty much where the sand dunes end, about 30 minutes from town. Here we go. The good thing with going alone and not as part of a big group, well, you're gonna see. Yeah, coming solo on a weekday, you can more or less get the whole place for yourself. My private driver costs $20 there and back. Entrance for this part of the lake? Nothing. Smart move. You lost something? <laughs> what are the odds actually finding your glasses? Time to try it. How much this visit costs depends on your mode of transport and which beach club you enter. Rigano. If you want it cheap, you can get it cheap. Uh, there's no point taking these clothes off now. Big question, would you have done this if it wasn't for Instagram? All for the photos, sellouts. It is pretty stupid, but also very enjoyable. Huh, it does look nice. Paraíso. Você gosta de Jerí? Por que você gosta de Jerí? Por a lagoa. A lagoa? Pessoas, a natureza. Energia. A melhor coisa do Jerí? A noite de Jerí é muito boa. Tem magia. Os argentinos no Jerí! Another great thing. You don't have to stay put where you arrived. You're welcome to roam free, checking out all the other parts as well. This place is actually huge. It's uh, full of different restaurants. After all, you never know if any of the other beach clubs serve even better caipirinha or photo ops. What do you like about Jerí? Jerí, the festa. The festa de Jerí is hermosa, beleza. Muito bona. Yes, you can party here too. We're getting to that. Simply put, it's just impossible not to be relaxed in this place. Haha, <laughs> Ah, make that a double. We deserve it. Ah, here comes the big one. My recommendation, visit this pretty early during your stay in Jerry, cause chances are big you will be wanting to return again. Mm-mm. Few things in life compared to driving through the desert high on life and caipirinha, chasing that sunset. And it seems we're arriving in town right on time to enjoy the best of it. Yes, Jerry sunsets are definitely among the best in Brazil. And yeah, this is a big one. The sunsets in Jerry are just incredible. You don't have to say nothing. The sunsets alone are enough to justify a visit to Jerí. The fact that you also happen to be in a literal tropical paradise with incredible food, drinks and some of the best people in Brazil. <laughs> That's just an added bonus. There's no words for this sunset. It's so good. Better yet, the fun doesn't stop only because the sun is down. After dark, Jerry puts on a whole other costume, and it looks good. The way this place vibrates at night with music and all the pretty lights and colors, it just makes you happy. Food is supposed to be good as well, I've heard. Best one yet! But most importantly, does Jerry deliver on the party scene? One of my personal favorites. This is one of the two major clubs playing electronical music. And boy, can they play! DJs at Club Knox are simply phenomenal, 
for a place that charges nothing to enter. Don't worry, this footage was taken a weekday during low season. High season, this place is booming. And don't give up yet. For a place as small as Jerry, you gotta be impressed with the different nightlife activities. This legendary club was closed during the pandemic, but boy, has it come alive again. Upstairs. That's where it all happens at Café Jerry. Remember what I said about Club Knox having a great DJ? Well, Café Jerry brings it to a totally different level. Every night, something weird and spectacular goes down here. Low season, Café Jerry only has one flaw. Now this place, simply awesome. What a show, what a DJ. Why does it close at 10? Don't despair, party on the beach goes on until at least one o'clock. Every night has a different music theme. And if it isn't your own particular flavor, the caipirinhas are less than three dollars. Not bad for such a small town. And more party is coming up. I can promise you'll never forget your trip to Jerry, especially not your arrival. It's hard to imagine a more epic way of reaching your destination. You can just feel it, this is a good place. It's nice to be home again. And as fun as it is going on tours, some of the best things can be explored on foot. Such as this epic, pretty much deserted beach. A perfect first stop for your little hike. This is the most quiet and private beach you can reach by foot. And I uh, also happen to find a condom lying on the beach, so I guess uh, <laughs> it's got several uses. Yeah, this is where people go when they're out of options. Anyways, at the end of the beach starts a great hiking trail. It's both exhausting and relaxing at the same time. The nature here just feels photoshopped. And it's about to get even better. Then you reach the top. Wow. This is not just a random hiking trail. It also leads straight to one of Jerry's major tourist spots. Here we go, just on the other side of this little hill. Ah, I can see it. Now we have the famous Pedra Forada right ahead of us. Ironically, this is where we kind of ran out of time. So I'll just show you some old footage of this natural piece of art. The whole walk takes about 40 minutes. And my personal do-it-yourself favorite, simply walking straight out of town towards those looming sand dunes. It's like wandering through the desert, but with a nice refreshing swim constantly nearby. And it makes for great footage walking on that sand wall. It's pretty much safe. On one hand, it feels like you're in the middle of the desert. On the other hand, this turquoise ocean right next to you. Don't miss actually trying that desert ocean out. It's incredible. Could this be the most rewarding swim of 2023? I uh, would actually think so. Oh, this place. But getting back up. A little bit tougher. Just for the sake of it, take a proper walk into the actual desert. It's a surreal feeling. And then turn back for a well-deserved caipirinha. So let's see here. No cars, perfect temperature all year round, magical nights and no crime. What have I missed? Counting the reasons I love this place, well, how long do you want the book to be? <laughs> I guess it would be easier saying something that's not awesome about Jerry. But even that is not easy. Por que todo mundo precisa ir aqui? Porque é uma terra muito abençoada. Aqui a gente tem uma energia muito positiva. 
Aqui a gente tem toda essa cultura que é areia, né? Um lugar bem diferenciado. O paraíso do Brasil? O paraíso do Brasil. O paraíso é aqui. There is nothing bad to say. Well, this is a paradise virtually at the edge of the world. Prices will be slightly higher than most of Brazil. Getting a hotel with a pool in a place like Jerry, it's kind of an overkill. But what are you gonna do? But still, even in Jerry, bargains can be found. How about a poolside bungalow five minutes from the beach for $45? Including a killer breakfast, a cozy lounge area, and one of the best views in town. Not bad at all. Okay, I got news. Something very interesting has been shown inside this travel agency. It's gonna be a few days I will never forget. I'm pretty sure. Wow. This is the greatest honor a YouTuber can get. I'm featured in, in the travel agency. Você tem mais clientes por causa do meu vídeo? Sim, sim, explica muito bem os pontos turísticos. Estou bem conhecido aqui no Jeep? Sim, muito bem conhecido. Oh, ele conhece você também. Ele conhece Todo você mundo também. conhece ele aqui. Well, being recognized in Jerry might not be such a great achievement. This is a town where pretty much everyone knows everyone. But let's celebrate anyways with a second night of party. I've already found my wingman. I'm not sure how I made friends with this donkey. He's been following me. Now this donkey's gonna party tonight. And tonight, my friends, the big party is up by the church. It's not. Obviously no party. Onde está a festa, amigo? Ah, it wasn't by the church. It was close to the church. Now this looks considerably better. Let's samba! But first... Roll, roll it, roll it, roll it. Roll it. Everyone wins a free drink. I expected to be some people here because the town is basically empty. Everyone must be at this party tonight. And they are. These samba parties happen more or less every weekend and are a great way to mingle with the locals. Prices are also way lower than the regular clubs. It doesn't hurt if you know a bit of samba, though. Oye! Por que você ama Jerry? Ah, porque Jerry me dá a liberdade que eu preciso para ser feliz. And if you want to get a taste of the Northeastern music style forró, you'll have places to go as well. That's pretty much Jerry nightlife. The choice is simple. Keep eating garbage or party. What do you say? Keep eating garbage? I'll buy you a caipirinha. And that, my friends, is just a few things that make Jerry the greatest place to visit in northeastern Brazil. And perhaps the most cozy place in the whole country. Do not miss Jerry. Coming up, why is the Samba Parade and Show in Rio de Janeiro such a big deal? And is it worth spending a hundred dollars to see it? Enjoy the video? Then subscribe for God's sake. Thanks for watching and be safe.